What's up, Sereb, and what's up, guys? Welcome back to Battle with the Think Tank, the Undertale fan game made by Drax. A lot of you really liked the first episode I did, and you also wanted me to do a second one because we didn't actually get all of the endings. So here we are once again, standing in front of the gigantic brain, and I've got some ideas. I don't know if all of them are gonna work, but we're just gonna begin, and I think one easy way was to just spare the entire time, right? Unresponsive? We only have to dodge these pretty simple attacks. There's also, of course, this genocide challenge that we saw last time a little bit. We only saw, like, I think two attacks of that challenge. I'm gonna try this again multiple times. Maybe I can beat it in this episode. That would be amazing. But yeah, for now, ouch. We're only gonna refuse to fight Serib. We're gonna fail a bit at the first few attacks, but it's not too bad. I'm not even sure if we need to heal, because actually there is something... That is connected to this ending that I'm gonna try to get. You insist on being peaceful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea why I attack you. And this is already it. I know you're a human. No, I think Cerebus is just talking a little bit. We have to hold out and survive for a little bit longer. But I'm not gonna heal because this might actually be a pretty good idea to not heal for the future. But I think that's all we need to do. Yeah, you're doing fine. Actually, even those heals, I'm gonna try to dodge them. It's an interesting playstyle that I'm doing right now. This data will benefit many, okay. At least we're already helping monster kind, so I can't complain too much. We're, we're already doing a great thing. Subdue, there we go. So now this is interesting. We have to dodge the green stuff, and we have to dodge the yellow stuff. So uh, what this will do is we actually have to die. Cerub is like, I won't kill you. But apparently Cerub does not really uh, know the strength of the attacks. So there is a chance we can die. I just have to like here? Look at this! No, stop! Ending 4 of 12. Aw? Okay. The music- that's actually kind of sad. Uh, unbelievable. You'd hold your own life hostage for freedom, exactly. That's... Incredible. You win this one, human. Someone like you cannot be contained. I'll... Uh, let you go with a full heal. Okay. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Wait. Okay, check. A broad-minded individual. Whoop! Whoops. Oh, whoops. It no work it <laughs> What? It no work it I, I think that was not what we are supposed to do, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm not gonna try around too much, I'm just gonna spare. You win? That, that's strange, but we, we did it. Okay, that was ending number four. Don't die, don't die, I actually have to heal. Now the, the hard thing is, what is the best one to get? I guess the bandage? Yeah. Gets me to 10 HP. That's gonna be good enough. Now I just actually have to dodge a bit, even though this crazy attack is pretty hard to avoid. But here we are again, and now I guess the obvious thing to do, which should give us another ending, which is surprising. You can actually get multiple endings in the same run, which kind of doesn't make sense, but okay, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. When Cerub is sparing you, as we saw in the last attempt, we can just betray. We can do the actual betrayal kill, which is gonna be terrible though. Subdue, so we're already there, and now I just have to get hit. How can I get hit? There are only yellow bullets here and green ones. Those were yet Ah, white. Okay, so I need to remember that. And this one definitely hurts me, and we're already there. This is actually sad. This music alone is enough to, like, evoke some emotion. But okay, we're gonna... Hold our own life hostage. And I guess in this case, we're not just holding it hostage, we're using it as a trap. We're trapping Cerub and then betraying Cerub. At full HP. We're not gonna act because that's a bit dangerous. We're just gonna freaking fight. I'm so sorry. Yup, that's just 22,000. Ending 5. I love how it switched to one more. The music! What? I give you your freedom. And you turn on me. Why? <laughs> oh no! The crazy laugh again. I lived my life... Seeking all 
the answers. But now, I leave with only questions. Ouch. You win. You. That's kind of weird. Sometimes you earn gold and sometimes you earn ex experience. Is that random? Or does that have a deeper meaning? But that was ending 5 of 12. So a very good start to the video, I think. We already got two new endings. Enough of this. Okay, so we are going for genocide right now. Some of you guys pointed out that there might be a no-hit ending. I'm not sure if it's gonna be here, the normal genocide, even the genocide ending. Like, imagine the genocide challenge with a no-hit. That would be crazy. But it's definitely a possibility. I, I could try, but look, already I'm done. It's really difficult to, to do it flawlessly. You don't have to get lucky, but you do have to be, like, perfectly in control of all the attacks. That's gonna be a very damaging 58 damage attack. Which means we are now in the genocide mode. And especially here. If you do need to do a genocide run, uh, I mean a no hit run for the genocide mode right there, that's gonna be even more difficult. With freaking attacks like that, that's gonna be an, an entire extra challenge, even next to the other genocide challenge. But yeah, I have a different idea for the ending for now. So we're gonna just try to survive, it's the easy one. Bim, bidim. Bim, I think you're always safe for it. Goes? Okay, that was a little bit scary, but it worked. Already past the halfway point because of my amazing barb um, idea that I have, where you use it and then you pretty much skip two, I think, two genocide turns. Let's just use this thing. You drank the giant triple chocolate soy mocha latte with whipped cream, is that right? And you recovered only 12 HP? Come on, that's such a gigantic name. And here we go. Now it is the, uh, the offer for that challenge. We're not gonna go for the challenge, though. I do this because I love challenge, yeah. But I also love exploring, so uh, I think we tried everything. Item act, and that all only puts you into the challenge. But what happens if we fight? We actually wanna fight, but we can't fight. We're just not good enough. Is that just gonna be in the challenge? Okay, you actually listened. So that was my first idea. Not my last idea though, but I guess now <laughs> I can try to su survive with 5 HP. This is not gonna happen, guys. We're not gonna... Actually, we might be able to get a heal, I forget. Do we get a heal immediately or do we have to immediately get through the, uh, through the attack? Yep. Okay, and now you can see, but you have so little time. A really big welding mask. What you can do, I uh, figured this out now. The gaster, or I guess the cerebrum blasters, the brain blasters, maybe the mind blasters, they actually look differently. One of them, uh, or one type, has those little turrets on the left and right side, and that's how you can know, but I definitely have to heal. The cheesecake might be the best thing. No, only 10. The pickle cheesecake. I wonder how many times it will go through this. I forget, this is our third ever attempt. Okay, okay. Um. No, <laughs> dude. This is so difficult, but I also was told that you can figure out the different um, th ones with how they sound. Apparently they have a different sound. We were called Flavio. Stay determined. Thank you, Asgore. You're such a nice dude. And here we are. Okay, let's quickly go through the entire... Dialogue. We have the cookies active right now, which is great. 8 HP. But what I want to do now, so we missed. And this might just get me to the normal genocide ending, but what I want to try is a baby attack. Ah, okay. It doesn't work. Ending 2, those are the really creepy one. You struck me down, I'm sorry. But before we try that challenge for real, there is something different that I want to try, and this might be the most complicated thing, actually. But I'm gonna go for it. So, yeah, at first you gotta be hostile. You just gotta attack Cerub a bit, until we get to that, um, genocide thing. But only one turn before genocide. Prioritizes violence. Yeah, we kind of have to show Cerub that we are violent right now. Cerub is gonna, like, note that information down, and now it's gonna be important. And I do think you actually get tips, which I didn't really realize. Enough of this. 
restrain yourself or and yeah i promise that neither of us wants that which i guess is also a hint in itself neither of us want that in this attempt at least and then even smells like you should stop and what we do now is we just stop we just show mercy <laughs> it almost feels like Seraph like that eye is like no way it's actually happening Maybe maybe Sereb doesn't even expect us to like listen to the game and even to Sereb. Oh my god, what the hell? Look at this look at those genocide fingers. Immediately went to fight. What was that? That's scary. You seem to have heeded my warning. I did. And we're not in genocide, which is nice, so maybe we're gonna do a no hit run. Smells like you should stop still stopping. Yet you have no idea why I attack you. I finished examining your behavior in an unknown situation. I owe you an explanation, okay? Now I'm not too sure what to do. It might be that we have to uh, attack again. I'm gonna try. We have infinite retries pretty much, so let's, let's see. What are you... There's only one explanation for your behavior. And that is that there is no explanation. Interesting. It would seem I had this whole thing backwards. You are not my subject of analysis. I am yours. Fascinating. A mere child has played me for a fool and succeeded, if only for a short time. Nobody has managed to outsmart me before. Not since Gaster, okay. I was wondering, we had that very, very interesting line before, and uh, I guess it's like Alphys was mentioned, science and all that, so I guess it makes sense. This is interesting now. Don't think I didn't see that. Your expression changed. But I'm a dog. I'm just a dog. I'm an innocent dog. I I'm not planning anything. You know who I'm talking about. But you shouldn't. Oh, dude, I sh really shouldn't. This is actually so cool. He's gone from this timeline. Then how the heck do you know, though, Sereb? The only way you could know about him is if you are the anomaly. That explains why you're acting so unnatural. Talk! It changed to talk. Well, I think we can both benefit from this. Wait, what is this now? A talking simulator? Obviously, I would prefer that you stop attacking. I would like to continue to measure your abilities. Do we have two endings now? Two new ones? We have talk and fight ending in this gaster stage, maybe. Since I know what you are now, I know I will not put you in any real danger. In return, I will answer any questions you may have about me. This way, we will both get the answers we seek. And those gaster sound effects, of course. Now we just have uh, zeros and ones. Not gonna get hit. I, I still wanna still wanna do this. That was a pretty cool attack. A completely different one. So you get an entirely different uh, battle, pretty much. Just for one ending. This better yield some new endings. <laughs> exactly my thoughts. I'm expecting two, but maybe there's even multiple. We still have everything, right? What if we just spare- I'm gonna talk, though, because this is an important opportunity. We can still check, we can talk about the work, we can flirt about the anomaly, so about ourselves or about Gaster. We're gonna check, though. Okay, that's the same. I await your questions. <gasps> Alright, you got me. It's, it's, it's the devil's knife. <laughs> Jeveled right there. Holy crap. What? Ew, that's not how brains work. Ew, 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 okay, we're gonna go. That That's disturbing. But what about your work, Sereb? You ask Sereb about his work. I am essentially a frontiers man of knowledge. A scholar. A scientist. A mathematician. A historian. A lawyer. So everything. I delve into the mysteries of the world and wrangle the answers that I seek. An unanswered question is like a painting hung crooked to me. And you are a very crooked painting. What is this now? Okay. Okay, it's always the same, so you can stay in that pattern, kinda. Smells like a backstory. What, what if we ask about the work again? Okay, okay, so it does repeat. And we have this again. I really like this attack. The only kind of difficult one to see coming was the one where I got hit. 
with the circle of, uh, I think it was just boxes or something, like eye boxes. But these two, the other ones we saw, were pretty simple. Um, and now, uh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's flirt. Just because it's here, maybe there's a flirt ending. You tell Sarab he has a, a very handsome pit to pituitary? I have no idea how to pronounce that, but it's apparently effective. I appreciate it, but that's not a question. Is that the only flirt we can do? If there's actually three endings, fight now, betray the science, go for science and get answers, and even a flirt ending, I'm just gonna... If we can flirt with the brain, it's gonna be amazing. You tell Sarah that you admire his shapely frontal lobe. Thanks? No problem. It's a heartfelt... Oh, compliment? These are some difficult attacks. The thing is, I, I guess I only asked about work, so I'm gonna go for a flirt ending if there is one. You ask Sarah for his brain age. I know you're just trying to get a reaction from me. You can't fool me twice. Aw, come on. Sarah. Don't spoil the fun. But if you're feeling uncomfortable, then I'm only gonna try it one more time. Oh, you marvel dramatically at the size of Cereb Cereb Cerebellum. Is that how you say it? You can actually get the name in game Bellum and Cerebellum. That was the pun. You can stop at any time. Cereb, I'm gonna stop. <gasps> as soon as you stop having reactions, come on, you can't use those. Those only those only appear in the genocide challenge. What the hell? Flirt more. You compliment Cereb on his hypothalamus. Sorry if I butcher these names. And I'm dying. I'm dying right now. So, uh, s what happens if I die now? This is this could also be an ending, guys. You see what I mean? Because I don't think Sarah would kill me. I'm, I'm gonna try flirting and not healing. And if I die, we might get an ending or we might just get in game over. You tell Sarah that you like his die. T die? No, his tie. Which I do have to say is very fancy. A race who flirts with strangers just to see what happens. Is that what you want me to think humans really are? Oh! <gasps> and- okay, that's it. <laughs> Dog! <laughs> Stay determined! What? Up, down, up, down, and one more attack. And we should be at this stage again. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna go through this a little bit. The expression changed. I still love that because it actually uh, is really accurate to how I- uh, acted in real life. I immediately was like, heck yeah, we're gonna get some gaster stuff. This one is a bit complicated, but you just have to go in in and out, in and out the entire time. And this time... You know what, I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna focus on the answers first, because I'm sure you guys also wanna have, like, more actual information, and not just, um, the flirting. And I'm gonna ask the same thing again, because there might be, like, an unlock if you ask all the questions. Damn it, that got me again. Five damage is crazy. And now the anomaly. You ask Sarah what he knows about your powers. Us monsters have a rather large fascination with quantum theory. Namely, parallel, parallel worlds and timelines. I am at the head of those studies. <laughs> at the head, because you're a brain. Recently, we found a way to read timelines via computer. And the data was terrifying. The timelines are supposed to look like tree branches, constantly splitting into infin infinitesimal fractals. But this, what we had was a mess. Some branches looped backward, some branches merged with others, and some just ended. And the readings we took they had an unprecedented amount of determination. Honestly, I thought the machine was malfunctioning. But some of my colleagues thought otherwise. I know now that they were right. It was me all along, and now you're gonna... Oh no, you're gonna get me with the blaster thing. Yep, this one. Damn it, I need to remember that. Or maybe just listen. Maybe turn up my volume and listen to the blaster sound. Oh my god, it changed, right? We have your work, flirt, quantum physics now. You try to discuss quantum physics. You humans don't know how it feels. Being confined to the dark depths, knowing there's a whole world of mysteries above you that you'll never get to see. That's why we have this fascination with quantum physics. If we can't break the barrier, perhaps we can circumvent it. 
by finding our way into a timeline where the barrier never existed. The seven souls, okay. I'm gonna heal the next time I get hit. You bring up Asgore's plan. You've met him in another timeline, haven't you? It's very apparent that he doesn't like his plan. I highly doubt he plans to follow through with it. In fact... I suspect he has let you kill him. So that he wouldn't have to follow through with eradicating humans. He's gentle by nature and doesn't own up to his mistakes. And he's afraid of another war. If an almighty god rose to the surface with an angry kingdom at his back, well, lives would be lost, and he knows that. It would be easier on everyone if we could instead travel to a timeline where monsters and humans already coexist. None of us would raise our hand in violence to a world that already welcomes us. Exactly, ouch. That is why I like Asgore. Complicated dude. And now we can... Maybe continue? I said I'm gonna heal, but I didn't take like a full hit, so I'm gonna try this again. Okay, so this is the same. And I did not get hit, so I think I can risk it and go for another question, which is of course gonna be very interesting about Gaster. You ask Serap about the mysterious W.D. Gaster. I'm afraid I don't know much about the man myself. He was a colleague of mine, and an absolutely brilliant one. He built the core, as well as many tools and weapons. For instance, a powerful blaster. He became quite a name in the scientific field. I'll be honest, I was quite envious of him. I wanted to one-up him. To best him somewhere. I mean, honestly, you're doing pretty well, aren't you? I'm not sure how strong Gaster is actually gonna be. I guess in canon, how Gaster would be. But Sarah, if, if Gaster is better than you, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. One up, sure. You ask Sarah to elaborate on why he wanted to one up Gaster. Gaster was my competition. Back then, my eye was set. <laughs> your eye was set on becoming the royal scientist. The previous one had stepped down. Well, the underground was in dire need of a source of energy. So I developed a blueprint for a core powered by the underground rivers. It wasn't much, but it was enough to benefit everyone. But Gaster had this absurd idea in drawing fuel from the very mantle. The difference in energy acquired was astronomical. So he got the job. I felt I needed to best him somewhere. So I made a weapon superior to his favorite laser cannon. Though we never got to see it, he fell into the core before I finished it. Now though, fame and recognition don't appeal to me anymore. I just want knowledge. So I have no interest in being the royal scientist. I want to go to the surface. The surface is full of mysteries for me to solve. Okay. Is, is this your new weapon? Because the Gaster Blaster does not have those mini sentries on the side. I guess that makes sense. At this point, I'm a little bit afraid, so I'm gonna not risk it. I'm gonna get... The cookies could work. Or, or just something different, like... What if I use the stick for now, ex uh, now for example? Maybe not gonna, nothing's gonna work. We're gonna do this again. Yep, yep, yep. The whipped cream thing. Okay, 19 HP is good. We're gonna have an easy attack. And what I wanted to say, what is still kinda great. What is still kind of bothering me is the fact that Gaster fell into the core. It sounds so random in a way, like what exactly does that mean? If we're ever gonna get an answer to that, I think that's one of the biggest mysteries, what exactly that means. Or if it was li literally just an accident. But finish, we can already finish. I guess it's time, because flirt might be an ending. We're gonna try flirting in the next attempt, if finish is gonna give us an ending. And then if flirting doesn't work, we can just fight and see if that that's most, most likely gonna end with, an, with a new ending. But finish. Is that it? We did work, we did 7 souls, 1 up, check. Let's go. You tell Sarab that you are finished asking your questions. I see. I'll be straightforward about this. With your powers, our studies of transtemporal travel would be made so much easier. I can also use you for determination transfusions and study your soul to see what it takes to make a monster's soul stronger. If you stay, all the things I can learn in the name of science. You will be the cornerstone of future technology. Monsters will forever be in your debt. Will you volunteer yourself to the science of the future? No, no, for all futures. 
Okay, so wait, so now wait, wait, are those three endings actually? Do we can we attack and now betrayal? Wait, what? Wait, there's four endings now? You can fight, you can stay, you can leave? What if I just mercy? I have to try it. Okay, good. So we we have this. This is doing nothing. Okay, it seems like there's three endings, which would be insane. And because um, how I feel, the music in my ears, the amazing music, I think at this point, Sereb, I have, we have both gone through enough. Let's let's try staying. You tell Sereb that you will stay. Ending six. I am elated. You are doing a surface, a surface. You are doing a service of immeasurable greatness for all of monster kind. I cannot even begin to express my gratitude. I promise you that the time you sacrifice will not go to waste. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> now come. We have much to do. Is that like a crazy face or just I mean it is kind of cute. Okay? I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to be rude. It is kind of cute, but um Okay. <laughs> you earned 0 XP and some gold. That was ending 6. N nice mouth. Can I see where that mouth comes from? I also heard it now. The normal blaster has just the jiu jiu jiu, and the the double blaster has the row, like a reverse. I, it might be a reverse sound. I'm not sure. And we're gonna finish. I have finished asking questions, and now of course, I guess there's three more things we have to try out. But one one thing is definitely gonna be an ending, right? If we go to act. And we just have to say we're gonna leave. We have to leave. You decline Serap's request to stay. That's actually... I'm actually a bit worried. Because that's a pretty bad thing to decline. That's a pretty pretty big blow. How disappointing. Oh, and that music. This is ending 7. I think we had 6 before, right? So we're actually going in order, which is nice. I'll be honest. If it weren't for your powers over the timeline... I wouldn't let you leave, but yeah, you you don't have a choice, I guess. But since I know it wouldn't be possible to stop you, I have no choice but to accept your decision. But you only accept it in this timeline, right? Perhaps one day you will reconsider, that's also a possibility. But then there's one timeline where I have to kill you. I don't have to kill you, it's my choice. I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> goodbye. Wow, just goodbye. I knew it. It, it. It's kinda painful, but it's not gonna be as painful as uh, attacking. And here we are. I cannot read these patterns. I'm sorry, Sarah, but this is way too much. And now, this better yield some new endings. It even tells you. I do think you can get three endings here. I have a feeling that fighting now and fighting at the end is gonna be the same ending. Because there aren't... I mean, there's 12 endings, right? 12 official ones. Every time you get an ending, you see that. So, uh... Um, I'm gonna try fighting just now and see what Sarah has to say. I was hoping we could have a peaceful discussion. It seems I had expected too much. Oh! Interesting. And now it smells like migraines and now I can't go back. Whoops. Is this a new attack that I've never seen before? Whoop, okay. I, I don't remember seeing that. I, wait, I, I can't even... I, I can't even handle this one. And now we're gonna have full HP if I don't get hit here. Right? Come on, heal me, cookies. Perfect. Now I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because attacking Serib is almost dead. But we're just missing, so I think we just have to survive, and that means we can use healing items, though. And now, I guys, I can't talk anymore, because I have to listen to the blasters. That's gonna be so difficult. So the zoom is middle, and the roam, if that makes sense, is left and right. I, I can't even... I, I don't know if I can listen, because I need to... Okay, I need to realize... Which one comes first? 
How, what's our name? Edamin, I think. Okay, so I need to realize which one comes first. I need to listen to the sound and then make a split-second decision on which side that blaster is. And I think it is also random. That's gonna be crazy. He has a nice brain. <laughs> Wait, what? You're running out of pickup lines, aren't you? That's, that, that, that doesn't even make sense. But here we are. I uh, Now I'm not sure, because it, there's either a flirting ending, which would be hilarious, or there's that betrayal ending that, I've always, that I'm always thinking about. It's either gonna be goofy or it's gonna be really terrible. We're gonna see what the creator Drax uh, has chosen. Wait, is that the same? You already said that one, the frontal lobe. Okay, so I was I was worried that it's just gonna be the same, but no, of course not. <laughs> We're just actually, we've run out of pickup lines. It's possible that you may have a problem. Sereb? Oh, okay, that might be it. I'm gonna try it one or two more times. We're gonna see if Sereb is like so unamused that Sereb is just gonna go away. Or... Okay, I think that's it. So it seems like... Drax, dear Drax, wants me to uh, do genocide. I mean, it, it, it's my choice. Or maybe... Does it make sense? If that puts us back to genocide. Because I, then I don't actually know if there's another ending I know of. Apart, of course, from the challenge. But I guess... I think here, right? I'm gonna continue. And we're gonna finish. Sereb awaits your answer. I'm gonna take this time to heal Sereb. Uh, I hope you're not mad. I'm gonna do this while you're waiting. 12 HP is pretty good. And okay, we had leave, stay, we had that. That's not, that, that doesn't do anything. Item, it only heals you, act, we did that, so fight. And what happens, for example, if I miss now? I, okay, I hope missing is nothing. Okay, that makes sense. Good, good, good. Is there a betrayal ending? There is no ending eight. That was it. That was the last one we had to get, I think. I think we we now have, with the first video and this one, all 11 endings. And there's actually only the genocide one left, the challenge. You did all that? Just to turn on me for your own amusement. I did, and it's horrible. Is this the corruption that such power does to you? I mean, it literally is, right? Like, yes, yes, I can, yes. Pathetic, oh, okay. But is this really what you want? I think you will turn back the clock. I hope you'll turn to a less murderous path. Interesting, is that the first time that's almost like begging like Sarah asking us to be less murderous because all the other times it was like a taunt but this is actually please turn to a less murderous one is that it is that your last word wow and that's it ending eight out of twelve and now I have to be honest I did not expect these endings to be first of all so extremely big and interesting but just to take this much time I guess so I'm not sure if I can do the entire genocide challenge in this same video I did not expect this but there might be a third video just dedicated to the challenge I'm gonna try one more time one good attempt hopefully and then we will see and here we are once again, we have the cookies active, 16 HP, and then just middle, that's always the same at least. So this is really nice that the first attack is not random. And this music though, man, da, 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 this is really gonna help when you get frustrated at this. You can still, what if I spare, for example, can I still do something? No, I think you can only live, which I guess sparing makes sense. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, so you just have to survive. Okay, listen, or look, I don't know if I want to listen or look, I think I got a, uh, Listen, I'm only gonna try to listen for the reverse blaster, the double blaster. Okay, it's completely random. Sometimes you also get two double blasters or two normal ones. That is gonna be so difficult, but we can always heal, right? That's amazing. Um, orange? But I don't- I guess maybe there's not gonna be any- I'm gonna try. Okay, once, five times, ten, a hundred? Hopefully it's not gonna get up to a hundred times.
I'm actually really happy that there's a different attack. Because this might be easier now. You asked for this, I did. I'm not gonna deny it. Let's go. I would apologize, but we both know that you want this. Um, orange? Wait, red? Oh, what? How? No way, man. I, I guess I'm not gonna heal yet. This addiction you have. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Oh, Sarah, I didn't. Now you're gonna punch? Where, where, where? How? How should I know? What? Um, cheesecake might be enough. 10 HP. Am I really helping or am I just making it worse? There's really no way to know. All I can do is hope that this stops you. Oh, and now you use these. Is this the same one? Yeah, I think it's... A no, it's a different one. It's more difficult even. Oh, the music is so good though. Let's go. Sarah, the final battle. Machines are whirring and clicking around you. What if I do the stick? Oh, okay, that's the same. Danger is the only language that seems to speak to you. Okay, I'm sorry. I I hope I, I get more attempts because I'm accidentally clicking away some of this dialogue. To think I brought you here to study you. To free everyone. And instead I'm trying to save everyone. Serap, I think you have a very good chance because... Are you just spamming? Okay, Serap, you're literally just spamming attacks and flashing lights. What the hell? You've come this far. But now you'll have to rely on your own ability. Okay. I don't think this means it's the end. I think this is only just beginning in that case. Are you serious, Serib? Wait, so does that mean you wanna heal- you, you might want to use up all your healing items? Use the cookies in the last turn before this and then you still have the cookies. This might be the best way to do it. I, I'm gonna die. Because I can't even- can I even attack? Nothing works, I just have to hope. Sooner or later, I'll be forced to subject you to what we, in the scientific community, like to call a special attack. Oh no, it's the fist! Stop! Oh! And- uh, I- I don't even know. I don't eat orange, too. I don't eat orange. How the hell, man? You asked for this? I didn't ask for my item button to be destroyed, though. You're forcing me to improvise quite a bit here. It's still going. Wh what? As if? Immediately! I didn't even- what? That's it. Don't lose hope. I'm not gonna lose hope. Ren, stay determined. But for this... Maybe for this episode, I'm gonna end it here. I, I feel like the Genocide Challenge can be worthy of its own entire video because of how crazy it is. But what can I say? This fan game is freaking amazing. I love how Cerub is pretty much connected, you know, can be connected to multiple different things as a scientist and stuff, to Gaster. You have the entire talking phase. Our name is Big Pal, which is really silly, but I love it. A really cool um, story, I guess, based on the story as well, the fan game. The fight is cool, the attacks, and then you have, if you're really crazy, you can have the extreme genocide challenge, which I will try once more. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I hope you liked it as much as I did. I really enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.